Here are medical breakthroughs that are so natural, they're actually animals. That's about as natural as you can get. First up, leeches. Yep, leeches have been used since ancient times for bloodletting, in which blood was drawn from the body to cure or prevent disease, which was pretty much useless for the patient. Unless, of course, they suffered from too much blood. These days, leeches are way more helpful. They're used to help heal skin grafts and are used in body part reattachment surgery. Their feedings help remove blood pooling and improve circulation. And contrary to how it sounds, blood pooling is not a fun summer activity. Even crazier is their popularity among celebrities who use it as part of a beauty treatment. <clears throat> Demi Moore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I coughed. Uh, Demi Moore uses them. Up next, the giant monkey frog might be the next big thing in painkillers or acid trips. See, this little guy secretes, yes, like from his butt, a mix of dermorphin and deltorphin, which are 4,000 times stronger than morphine and much harder to buy on the black market, I'm finding. So you know he's a big hit at EDM parties. Yo, giant monkey frog, return my texts. I'm tripping balls. You've heard of so-called doctors selling snake oil, but what about snake venom? The Jiraraka, a super cuddly viper found in the Amazon, has peptide in its venom that can treat hypertension and heart failure. They should sell it at KFC. But yet still, when I try to sell it at KFC, everyone's like, no, get out of here with that snake. See, where most snakes either bite or squeeze their victims, the Jiraraka actually helps your blood vessels dilate, relieving blood pressure. And just when you think you're back at home, all relaxed about your blood pressure and thinking that maybe snakes aren't that bad after all, that's when they strike and add a bunch of shitty movies onto your Netflix queue. Pop quiz, which one of these guys do you think has the best chance of curing cancer? A super smart looking scientist or a giant keyhole limpet? Sorry scientist, looks like you've let everyone down again. It's the giant keyhole limpet. Obviously, when a mollusk's proteins are injected into the human bloodstream, they allow our immune system to detect, attack, and recognize future cancerous cells. But when you inject a scientist into our bloodstream, everybody dies. Winner, the mollusk. Next up on animals that save lives and aren't kosher, the pig. Not only are pigs responsible for the most delicious substance known to man, but their intestines can be used as an anticoagulant called heparin. But be careful, an overdose of heparin will kill you, as will an overdose of most things. That's why they call it an overdose. Just take the normal dose. Unlike an overdose of bacon, which will just make you really sleepy schmookums, and then kill you. You know the animal most likely to subscribe to this channel is the human? Yeah, you. I lost a lot of money on that. I thought it was dogs. Turns out, dogs can't afford internet connections. And we've got another video about crazy animals that literally die horrible deaths, all for love. Kind of like teenagers. But no, the praying mantis is just the beginning. Check it out.